This is a relay, an electromechanical switch used in control systems. Inside, we find something called a dry contact. Dry contact, also known as potential free contacts, means these terminals don't carry any voltage on their own. The relay coil controls a contact's open or closed state. But the voltage you pass through the contact comes from your own external source, not from the relay. This makes dry contact safe and flexible. You can use them to switch AC or DC signals without interference from the relay's internal power. So the summary is no internal voltage, just like simple switch used for the control signals. Now you know that potential free means it's just a clean, isolated switch. Let's explain this by an example. Suppose we have two machines, machine 1 and machine 2. Machine 1 have to send an output signal at the input terminal of the machine 2. Now the fastest way is to wire the 0 volt terminal of the both machines together and this will make a common 0 volt terminal for both machines. Next we can simply connect output of the machine 1 to the input terminal of the machine 2 with a wire. Now when our output signal from the machine 1 turns on, the 24 volt DC reaches the input terminal of the machine 2. This setup looks fine until now, but what if the machine 2 requires a 110 volt DC as an input signal? Here's the dry contact concept comes into play. We will simply insert a relay with a 24 volt DC coil in between these machines. Now the output signal from the machine 1 turn on the relay coil. And from the normal open dry contact of that relay, 110 volt DC signal goes back to the machine to input terminal. I hope you like it. Please follow us for more contact regarding the industrial electronics.